Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going over some of the most significant updates in our latest DAZ to Cinema 4D 1.3.0 bridge update with you all. Some of the most exciting updates coming out of this new release are going to be related to morph optimizations. And these optimizations are going to allow for some of the most significant improvements in reducing memory required for import and export, as well as the overall time to complete the import-export process. Additionally, if you're familiar with some of the more recent Blender updates, you might also recognize some of the changes that we made to the export dialog within DAZ Studio when selecting which morphs uh, to include with our export to Cinema 4D. Let's get started by taking a look at how DAZ Studio handles morphs. By taking a look under the settings icon here within the parameters tab with our figure selected in the scene and then scrolling through one of the active morphs for the characters. From within the settings pane, we can see all the connections that are happening behind the scenes that are driving this one morph for this figure. And we can see that the morph is controlling both the geometry and the bones of this figure, which is not how Cinema 4D is set up to read morph connections natively, but it is how DAZ Studio is set up. So in order to send this morph data from DAZ to C4D and to maintain the morph connections, the DAZ to Cinema 4D bridge script is going to rewrite the way that the export process builds and sends the data from DAZ to reduce the time and memory, as well as to reduce redundancies in the process automatically with the script. Once we're ready to send our figure to Cinema 4D, we're going to navigate within DAZ Studio like normal to Scripts, Bridges, DAZ to Cinema 4D, and then a new dialog box is going to open. From here, select the subdivision level that you'd like to export your character at, and be sure to click the box next to Include Morphs. This is going to open up the Morph Selection window, where you can either manually select the morphs that you would like to export, or you can select the corresponding buttons here for the appropriate figure generation, either Genesis 8 or Genesis 8.1, and then click Accept at the bottom of the window here, and then click Accept again to send the figure to Cinema 4D. Now, within C4D, I'd like to quickly highlight on another change that we've made within this release, and that is the location of this bridge plugin, which used to be located under extensions and can now simply be found at the top of your screen under DAZ 3D, and then you go to DAZ to Cinema 4D. However, no other changes were made to the import process from the user's end, except for this. Once you've imported your figure, while this is optional, I'm gonna navigate here to filter and turn off the joint view to make it easier to see our figure. Additionally, you may notice that there's a new Morph Controller Group menu under the top right-hand section of your screen along with the import of your character. This Morph Control Group submenu will automatically set up any different Morph Control Group by hand and will allow users to access any morph that has been exported from DAZ Studio and allows us to make these changes to the Cinema 4D scene from within this menu here in real time. Lastly, with this update, we've also added support for Moves by Maxon, which allows users to capture facial animation data as well as head rotation and eye rotation information, and then upload these recordings to Cinema 4D and transfer this data to a Genesis figure. To locate this plugin, navigate to Extensions, and then select Moves by Maxon. Please note, you will also need to download the companion app on your smart device called Moves by Maxon, and then link the app to your computer via your IP address. To locate your IP information, you can search within the search bar for Command Prompt, IP Config, IP v4 address, and then copy-paste this IP address here. Lastly, you will also need to be sure to create a downloads folder similar to C Cinema 4D slash Moves by Maxon. This location will be where the files are placed and called upon within Cinema 4D for this. Once you've linked the companion app with the plugin within Cinema 4D, you can double click on a facial capture to load it into the scene. I'm going to delete my materials because I don't like looking at my face. And now I'm going to show you how to link it to the DAZ bridge. First, go back up to DAZ 3D and select Connect Genesis 8.1 to Move by Maxon. And then click the circled arrow next to the Morph Controller and then select the Morph Controller group for your figure. Now. Select the circled arrow for face capture and link this to your facial capture file in the top right hand corner of your screen. Finally, be sure to select each box for the connect morphs, connect head rotation, and connect eye rotation and close out of this window. 
Lastly, let's be sure to add some more frames to the timeline and press play so that we can see all of the linked keyframes displaying on the screen. Note, if we look through the morph group, we can see all of the different morphs being controlled as well during this process. This is a quick test for moves by Maxon facial tracking animation data in Cinema 4D for Genesis 8 and 8.1 figures for the lips, eyes, head rotation for facial tracking animation in 30 frames per second. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update video today. Let us know if you have any suggestions for any future updates, and let us know what you're making with this update as well. We'd love to see. Anyway, thanks, guys. Take care.